Hi loves, hope you are doing really well. In today's video we are building a barbecue station. I hope it gives you maybe an idea for your home, for your garden. We've been working on this for a few weeks. We only had weekends to do this. So it took me a while to get this video finished, but it's finally here. So I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this project, just leave them down in the comments. It's sometimes a bit hard to show everything in the video but I will try to explain as much as I can with Pavel he was the main guy in this but I was there to help him the whole time I post a lot of cleaning motivation and mom related content but we do love a home project so if there's something you would enjoy watching I'm more than happy to have you here as you can see Pavel started building the frame for the decking so it would be ready for the decking boards to go on we had some decking boards boards left over from a different project so we reuse them to save us a bit of money and also not to waste it to match our other decking that we have in the garden next to the house we went for the same kind of shape and same design and when the decking was done Pavel started building the frame for the barbecue station <laughs> Pavel screwed the frame together and then we were ready for the next stage and he started building the walls. He used nail gun to attach the boards to the frame. That made the process quite quick. As you can see, Pavel put the boards down on a slight angle so the water doesn't get inside and it slides off the boards. I painted it black, I just love the black, I think it looks really nice with all the trees and the green color. I think it's a nice contrast. And then it was time to start building the roof. We used some OSB boards, then made it watertight with damp proof membrane and later on we also added roof felt. <laughs> And we made it waterproof from the inside as well. We get a lot of rain here, so we thought it was quite a good idea to build this barbecue station. It's going to have a big lift up door that even if it starts raining, we can still do the barbecue and nobody is standing in the rain. Actually, this year our son's birthday party got a bit spoiled because of the rain. And then Pavel had to stand outside and finish the food and everyone went back inside. <laughs> we finished up walls with OSB boards. Pavel built a frame for the storage around the barbecue. We decided to move the parts of the frame that are right next to the grill just a little bit further. It was okay but we did that just in case. And just to add, after removing the sides of the grill that was there before, there was holes at the side of the barbecue. So what we had to do is to put screws there and close them up. And then we also added a fireproof mat right next to the grill and behind and under as well. And while I'm talking about this, I'm gonna add that we also ordered a fire retardant paint that I'm gonna paint everything with. But we are still waiting for it uh, as it's arriving from Czech Republic, so it's taken a little while. But I'm gonna get that done as soon as that gets delivered. And as you can see, we are also adding a stainless steel sheets behind the grill. We just pick them up and b and q.
we kind of played with the ideas how we're going to finish up the outside if we gonna do like two doors or just one big one and then in the end we decided to go for one big one so Pavel started building the frame for it then we added the polycarbonate uh, sheets on the outside of it because I wanted to be able to see what's on the inside if it was just the wood it would be all black again so it would be kind of lost in the garden so I thought that's gonna look nice a little bit different <laughs> Here on the video it looks like it was super easy but it took Pavel like, ages to figure out how to place these gas struts but in the end he managed to do it and we are really pleased with how it turned out. Pavel also made a handle for the door so we can open it easily. And then we started adding the worktop. We actually had this left over so we didn't need to buy it which saved us a lot of money again. I painted the doors black. We left the OSB boards as they are just now. I'm still thinking if to leave it that way or to paint it black or do something different with it. You can let me know if you have any ideas. We still might add some shelves on the wall. Um, we'll see. That's the fireproof mat I was talking about. We ordered another one, so I'm gonna add more to the bag. It was one by one. That didn't cover everything that we wanted. And you saw better the position of the frame. And it was time to decorate, which is my favorite part. And just a few finishing touches. And it was all done. We absolutely love it. If you follow me on Instagram, you know we already tried it. We had a few barbecues already. I just like how even kids get out in the garden to sit with us. They wanted to make s'mores, so they roasted marshmallows as well. So yeah, we had some nice time together. Um, I'm glad we still managed to get use of it. The weather is actually quite alright, so I'm sure we'll still use it a few times before the winter, and we can't wait to have some parties next year as well. Pavel was working away from home when I filmed this, so he wasn't there for the end reveal. It turns out that Pavel should open up his own YouTube channel because these videos got him so much more views than mine. At least the shorts did. Thank you so much for watching again and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!